Okay, so up to this point, we've already looked at, um, or we already know where the average velocity formula comes from. We know about uh, acceleration, average acceleration, and also used average acceleration to find the future value um, or the future velocity if acceleration applies. Okay, now let's just look at this formula again, average, uh, average velocity. Now when acceleration applies, average velocity is not the same as instantaneous velocity. So for example, in average velocity, my initial velocity and future velocity may be different. So how do I get that? Well, average is obviously taking my, so average velocity is simply taking my initial velocity plus my final velocity and dividing it by 2. That gives me the average. Okay, But another way of finding the average is simply taking the change in displacement over change in time. So these two values have to be the same. Now all I'm going to do now is again multiply with time on both sides. And that gives me the following formula. On this side, time cancels, and I'm just left with the change in displacement would be equal to the average velocity, which is my initial velocity plus my final velocity divided by 2, multiplied by the time of the acceleration. And that gives me my second motion equation.